if you have a general term of a sequence how to deduce that the sequence is an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence now in this question you are given the term un and we want to find un plus 1 by substitute n with n plus 1 you can find the term un plus 1 so this is the term un plus 1 in term of un part b now we want to deduce that it is an aromatic sequence with this general relation between any two successive term we have shown that it is a constant equal to 2 so our conclusion is it is an aromatic sequence some students prefer to do it this way in solution 2 it lists out the first few terms and then from here you look for the difference between two terms and make the conclusion that it has the common difference so it is an aromatic sequence now do you accept this type of solution look at the question we want to deduce that the sequence is an aromatic sequence deduce deduce means from general to a specific one in solution one from the general conclusion it gives us this particular cases so we can make a conclusion that it has the common difference but in solution 2 you just pick up a few cases and try to make the conclusion that it has the common difference this is the other way around so don't follow solution 2 question number 2 you are given the sum for the first n term is not term n to find term n I use this relation not very sure let's check out this is the sum for the first n plus one term for the first n term so if we use the first two equation here and your minus you get term n plus 1 uh oh I used the wrong formula if you want the term n we should use these two equation so this is the correct one now you can start to find out what is the term n part b we want to find un plus 1 in term of un by using un and substitute n with n plus 1 you can find the term un plus 1 in term of un with this we say the ratio between two successive term is a constant equal to 2 so it has the common ratio which is a geometric sequence constant here means 
which is independent of n, no term n here. For any two successive terms, the common ratio is not influenced by the value of n. Now, in solution 2, see what is this student doing? He lists up a few terms and by using a few specific terms, he finds the ratio. From here, he tries to make a general conclusion that it has the common ratio. So in this solution, it's not deduced. In deduced, we want from the general one to specific. The general one. So we don't accept the way in solution 2.